Hello everyone. In this video, we shall see, how to render the master plan. I'm not an expert level, I am also a beginner. I have created a page template already. If you want to know on how to create a page template like this, check my previous videos. I have inserted my site image also. Don't worry about the line weight, we can see it later. Make sure, you have locked the page template layer, so that it is not disturbed when we do things inside. Using any selection tool, select the road and solid fill it with grey color. You can also add stroke to enhance it. Next, I am selecting the area for grass. You can either fill it with the grass texture pattern or just solid fill with green color. Change opacity and things to keep it shuttle. If you have missed to fill any space, you no need to select and fill again. Just, select the area. Click the mask icon, which is black and white color in the layer. Select brush tool. Make sure that the foreground color is white. Paint over the selected area. If you want to delete the pattern, the foreground color must be black. Remember, black is to delete and white is to add mask. Group them into single folder. I am filling the pavement with the pavement pattern that I already have. Giving it a grey shade by blending it with the grey color solid fill. Similarly, adding pavements to other areas too.
giving the pavement another color which is different from the pedestrian pavement. Just, right click on the color and select create clipping mask. The use of clipping mask is to clip the current layer into previous layer. Here, it clips the color to the pavement pattern. First select the buildings. As height varies, the shadow length varies. Now, I am selecting smaller buildings. Solid fill them temporarily with some color. We have to delete it later. Now, add shadow to them. This is not shadow of the building. It's just the shadow of the plane. Next, select the elements of another height. Like cars, podiums etc. Add drop shadow to the selected things. Make sure that you change the distance of the shadow with respect to their height. Next, I am selecting the furnitures. After selecting, solid fill and give them a shadow too. Next, headrooms in the roof level. Adding shadow to them. Next, we are about to add the original building shadow. Take the polygonal lasso tool. Select the shadow area of the building. That is corner to corner. Select every shadows. This is hectic process, but will give you a good result. After selecting every shadow region, solid fill it with black color. Reduce the opacity to make it as a shadow. Now, delete the existing solid fill and drop shadow layer.
If you have done some errors in shadow, don't worry. Select the area. Click the mask layer. Pan at the area with white color. Now, the shadow is added. Rearrange the layers as required. Next, adding shadow to the parapet walls. Select the wall and solid fill with the color. Drop shadow. Select the shadow area. Click mask layer and paint it with white color. Done. Next, add bigger shadow to the building. Select the border of the building. Solid fill with the color. Drop shadow. Make sure that, shadow distance is larger. Select the shadow region and mask layer. Paint it with white. Delete the solid fill layer. Done. I have forgot to add compound wall in the AutoCAD drawing. So, I am roughly selecting the wall area. Solid fill them and add shadow. If you feel that some lines of the CAD drawing disturbs the drawing, just erase it. Next, I am adding the lamp posts. You can directly add the lamp post in plan. I felt that it would disturb the plan. So, just adding a circle. I have already created the circle. Let me draw it one more time for you. Draw a circle using the selection tool. Solid fill it with any color. Add stroke if required. 
create a folder for the lamp post as we are going to create multiple copies. Select the move tool. You can create multiple copies of the layer by holding the alt button. We can see that the cursor changes into double. If we drag, it creates a copy. Place it wherever required. Done. I am adding grass to this area also. Select the area. Click mask layer in the grass pattern and paint it with white brush. Add shade to other white areas. Make sure that the building is only in white color. Color other areas with mild gray color. Done. Let's see the result. The quality and color is good. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe for more.